Hello everybody, welcome to Minutes with PJ. Today's date, August 25th, 2016. Our word for discussion is shipwrecks. In Acts 28, 1 through 8, we know that Paul was being transferred back to Rome. And what was going to happen there is uh, eventually he was going to be in prison there, and this is his second time around. Now, as he was going, there was a big storm, and they became shipwrecked on an island. While on that island, Paul helped with the wood, and when doing so, he was bitten by a snake on his hand. Now, the snake did not poison him, and he just shook it off into the fire. He also healed the father of Publius, uh, who was afflicted with dysentery, and then he went and prayed over him and healed him. Now we also know in 2 Corinthians 11, 25-27, Twice I was beaten with rods, once I was stoned. Thrice I was perilous, perilous in the waters, and perilous in the robbery, and perilous by mine own countrymen, and perilous by the heathen, in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren, in weariness and painfulness, in watching often, in hunger, thirst, and in fasting often, in cold and nakedness. In 1 Timothy 1, 19-20, holding faith and good conscience, which some having put away concerning faith have made shipwreck, of whom is Hermenius and Alexander, whom I have delivered unto Satan, that they may learn not to blaspheme. Now here's what I'm getting. When Paul was traveling back to Rome, the ship became shipwrecked. On that island, he was bitten by a snake and not hurt. Then he healed the father of Publius of dysentery. Paul shared that he had been shipwrecked twice and left for, left to die. He told Timothy to hold the faith and do not blaspheme. God will care for us if we become shipwrecked and become faithful. Once you think about this today, have a blessed day.